Once a month or so, we pull Lorna Vanderhaeg away from her research in bioscience to join us in Studio 4 to talk about natural medicine. Today, she is into natural remedies. She is an author of many books. Some are heart smart, some focus on sexy hormones. It is my pleasure to welcome Lorna Vanderhaeg back to Studio 4 to tell us more. I know, hi. I know you were riveted to uh, uh, science journalist Bob McDonald and his Magical Mystery Cures documentary. What I do you think? Wait. I can't wait to watch it. I mean, uh, one thing that's really important is to, when we talk about things like natural remedies, is to really focus on uh, the scientifically backed remedies, which is what I've been talking about for 25 years. Sure, and it also <clears throat> makes sense to me that if we keep our body strong, our, our immune system topped, that our body does know what to do. Oh, you're absolutely right. It's everything that you and I talk about is about making sure that the body systems are nice and strong and able to do the job they're designed to do mm -hmm. and they will do them if we give them the right tools. Well, as you know, sucker born every moment, they say, well, when you look at, at some of these claims, you know that. Right. <laughs> Hope well, springs eternal. Well, it's true. And, you know, the thing is, if it works and it changes your disease pattern, we're happy. Mm, sure. Uh, we like it better in science when we can prove that something works. But if a placebo suddenly gets rid of someone's disease, we should be happy. The person is healthy. Uh, we don't want false claims being made. And right now with Health Canada, um, you know, regulating and licensing all the natural products, what we're going to see is innovation disappear. And we're going to start to see everything looking the same because there are, you know, so many research studies in natural mm -hmm. ingredients. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you eat a lot of onions and garlic and things like that, it helps you, like food. Food oh. a real... Uh, well, food is the key. But healer. The, I can tell you, unless someone gets cancer or heart disease or diabetes and they're going to die, mm -hmm. they don't generally change what they eat. People hate changing their diet. It's sort of the last resort, and that's why natural remedies and drugs have got such a huge market share is because people still want to do all the bad things they do in their diet mm -hmm. and stay healthy. Sure, and we'd like to prevent getting the cold. Right. Rather than getting the cold and then wondering what to do. Prevent getting the cold. So, I take oil of oregano. Don't know why, except that it seems to work. Um, oil of oregano is great. I brought a bunch of things to talk about. Oil of oregano is one of the things you can use the first sign of a sore throat. I would never go to Mexico without it. It is, if you took it every day, it, it seems to help to fend off things like parasitic infections and traveler's diarrhea. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's something that I would have in, in my bag when I go to the south, for sure, okay. um, any tropical country. Couple of drops under the tongue, right. little drop in a water. It's right. just oregano. We know oh, it yes. won't kill us. Oh, no, it's quite powerful. It has an antiviral, antifungal, antiparasitic mm -hmm. effect. So it has great benefits. A lot of what you and I always talk about is the immune system and getting your immune system to work better. And we have some really great things for the immune system that have excellent clinical studies, you know. Um, and I'll take a few of them out here. So um, Modicare, for example, actually is used as a drug uh, treatment for HIV and AIDS in countries like Botswana where mm. they can't afford antiretroviral medications. Here in North America, uh, it's sold for enhancing and making your immune system stronger. Modicare, what's yeah. in it? Um, plant sterols and sterolins. Okay. And the great thing about it, it comes in chewables for kids and it's been researched mm -hmm. in kids, it's been researched in pregnant women. Uh, it's safe for everyone. Adults can take it too. Every teacher should be on it to protect them from all the sick children they're exposed to. Right. And have your kids take it every day. So it's another thing that should be in your medicine cabinet on a daily basis so that you can use these things every day or at the first sign of a cold or flu. Mm -hmm. uh, another very well-researched ingredient is called umka. umka. And this is um, from Nature's Way and they have excellent mm. studies where they've compared it to placebo, showing that if you took it at the first sign of a cold or flu, uh, you'd be able to cut the duration. And for upper respiratory infections or coughs, mm -hmm. it's outstanding. And again, it comes in form for kids, drops you can put in water, and it should be in your medicine cabinet. Right, once you get the virus. Right, right. You can take that. As so soon as it happens. And then for little kids, we have things like natural suckers with echinacea because you know mm -hmm. sometimes you got a kid with a sore throat mm -hmm. it's hard to get things into them they don't like medicines mm -hmm. great way to do that great way to do that or adults yeah. I mean and let's talk about like cold suckers. sores because I've had the biggest cold sore of my life I haven't had one in 10 years and uh, you know when we look at things like cold sores 
Why do we get them? Stress, the sun can bring them mm -hmm. on. But it's a virus that lies dormant under the skin and then can flare up. So yes, we have so things herpes like herpes simplex. My right. mother always said the sun caused them. Yes, they call them sun blisters. Mm -hmm. um, things like lysine can help keep them into remission. Uh, this particular company, Quantum, makes topical lysine creams, which are great when you've got an outbreak to stop the pain mm -hmm. and that bubbling. Um, as well, there are drugs we can take, things like Valtrex and Zobarax, which are fabulous for um, a drug treatment. And would that work for genital herpes and herpes simplex? For both. They for even both. use it when someone gets a shingles outbreak. Mm. This um, lysine cream is fabulous if you have someone who has a shingles outbreak because that is incredibly painful. Really? So if you put lysine cream on, the minute you get the little itch, because yes. you know it's coming. I get them occasionally. And you, you can you say, oh no. Oh no. Yeah, there's a little bump and it's itchy. Yeah. and You should put an ice cube on it. As my mother would say, it. I think I'm getting a sun blister. Yes, you put an ice cube on it immediately. Oh. Pop your Valtrex and use the lysine cream and don't eat nuts. Nuts are the worst thing for encouraging cold sore outbreaks if you're prone to them. And really? The reason why is nuts have All lots nuts? of. Uh, particularly almonds and peanuts, That's which my have favorite lots. Almonds. I eat tons of almonds. Yeah, Dear. they have lots and lots of arginine, mm -hmm. which then causes your lysine to be suppressed, and then the okay. virus outbreaks. But as you know, stress, stress, stress. When you hear somebody has a severe case of shingles oh, or yeah. you know outbreak uh, in the lips, uh, it's stress, stress. The other one is head lice, and I had to bring this head lice kit because every mom who has a child at home who's in the early, you know, elementary school, primary grades should have, I would use tea tree oil shampoo on my kids from the time they're going to preschool until they're about 10 right. every day so that you don't have to worry about them getting head lice. But there are some great kits now. This has tea tree oil, and tea tree oil is an mm. amazing, again, antiviral, mm -hmm. antifungal, but the bugs hate it. And this little kit, you spray it on the head, the lice come to the surface, you can get rid of them with the knit comb, and it's not that toxic pesticide right. that See, we... See, it doesn't make sense to me to put toxic yeah, pesticides on your on head your because you have lice. So if yeah. you could do something more natural... This is fabulous, and again, clinically researched, shown to work as well as the, dr the drug tripe shampoo treatments that we get from the drugstore. And, you know, why not use the tea tree oil shampoos mm. on your kids while they're in preschool and, sure. and kindergarten? If we have an earthquake, they say you should have in your little kit buried in the front yard tea tree oil because it's a natural uh, antiseptic? Yes, it, it kills things like staph. Um, it, it, it's fabulous for uh, improving the antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, all of those mm. types of things. So, again, a natural, it should be in your in your first aid sure. kit. I think that's what we spray on our Pilates mats. Yes, you do. And I all bet the it yogas, is. the yoga. And the yoga mats. Yes, yes, mm. it's absolutely. So you can get it in that form. Okay. Um, oil of oregano, we, we talked, talked about. about. Vitamin C. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite, you know, emergency, they taste great. Uh, you can pour them in your water bottle, drink it throughout the day. Vitamin C should be in every, uh, you know, kitchen uh, cabinet. Uh, just because or it because a healthy it way to feel good every day? It boosts the immune day? system, it's important for your heart, it's important for your cardiovascular mm -hmm. system. Um, it's also important to keep our blood sugars balanced and diabetics definitely need more vitamin C than the rest really? of us. And this tastes good. I drink, they have yeah. lime and lemon, they have orange, they have all of yeah. that and it is good. You're right. And that one's uh, cranberry. Oh, cranberry, so, that's yeah. a new flavor. So now, what's this is a the, rock hopper? Those are the little oh. suckers for our kids that are so helpful. And they, again, they're echinacea. And the one thing about echinacea that we always want to remember is you don't take echinacea every day. Echinacea taken every day actually caused more colds and flu. That's because you probably jump-started the immune system too much, oh. which is not a good thing. Um, echinacea should be taken at the onset of a cold or flu, just like the mm. umca that we talked about from Nature's okay, Way. Okay, and if you have allergies, so what if you're allergic to cone flowers or something? Oh. Well, that's another thing where Modicare is fabulous for it because what we've learned over the years is the immune system is involved in protecting us from viruses and bacteria, colds and flu, right? cancers, but when your immune system becomes overreactive, we will get mm -hmm. allergies to things that are common everyday okay. substances. So Modicare works fabulous, and if you started taking it now in February, 
you would not have those uh, hay fever or pollen allergies that we see show up, especially here in Vancouver in March and April. Well, good to know. So. Uh, you will be speaking in South Surrey on Wednesday at 7 yes. p.m. at Choices Market. You'll be in Langley on February 16th. At Nature's Fair. Nature's Fair, Port Coquitlam on Feb 24. Yes. Great. And uh, my mother always says, stick your tongue out. I'll tell you if you're okay. Yes. And if your tongue was coated, she'd be worried about you. Yeah, that's a one lot day of we candida. Should, one day we need to talk about that. Yes. Okay, nice to okay, see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, Lorna Vanderhaeg.